Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Gracie 1516 After 5 Curette. This is an area specific curette that is strictly used for mesial surfaces only of the posterior teeth. It is great for uh, periodontal uh, debridement uh, and scaling and root planing because it can go deep down into those hard to reach pockets. Now the Gracie 1516 After 5 is pretty much almost the same thing as the Gracie 1516. So um, if you take a closer look, this is um, this is your regular Gracie 1516 and this is your Gracie 1516 After 5. You see how the After 5 has a, lower, uh, a much longer lower shank? That is how you can tell that uh, this is um, the After 5 instrument. That's why uh, it's great for periodontal uh, debridement and scaling root planing in those uh, deep pockets. So now uh, let's get started. So first we need to make sure that we are adapting the instrument correctly and that we have the correct working end. So one way to do that is to place it between the two premolars and you can see that the lower shank is parallel to the long axis of the tooth and it creates a V on the distal uh, of that uh, premolar. So that is one way to know that you have the correct working end. Okay, the correct working end. So now, um, if I also, if I place the instrument on the face of the tooth, you can see that it hugs the mesial. So now that is another way to know um, if you have the correct working end. Now, if I were to place it incorrectly, um, yes, the lower shank is parallel to the long axis of the tooth, but now it creates a V going towards the mesial of that premolar, and that is incorrect. All right, so uh, this is the correct uh, working end. And uh, let's get started. So I am going to be using this instrument starting at, at the mesial, uh, at the distal line angle and work my way across and into that interproximal space. Now you wanna make sure you are using the toe third of this instrument and that the toe third of the instrument is fully adapted to the long axis of the tooth. And you want to start uh, by going into the distal line angle and activating the instrument across the buckle and rolling as you're going into that line angle and going all the way into approximately making sure you have the toe third fully adapted to the tooth and creating that 70 to 80 degree uh, for calculus removal. So you're rocking on your fulcrum. Again, I go, I dive into the pocket, nice and smooth, stay subgingively, apply some lateral pressure and roll it in, making sure you're getting into that coal and coming out nice and gentle. Again, going in, And that is how you use the Gracie 1516 After 5. If you like this video, please click like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more.